Welcome to this presentation on the newest add-on from Dynamics Nav Add-ons, Easy Currency Exchange. Easy Currency Exchange is a utility that connects to StrikeIron, www.strikeiron.com, which is a data, uh, data management company uh, that, in, that offers uh, data services uh, all over the world for currency exchange rates, uh, address verification, and a number of other uh, data sources. Uh, the data that they use is the same data that is provided to the Wall Street Journal. So it is uh, instantly current and uh, consistent across the world. So let's take a look and see what it is that we've done. If we go to Department, we go to Easy Currency Exchange, you can see that it's actually quite simple to use. There are only a few choices here. Easy, currency Import Setup. In Currency Import Setup, first thing you'll need to do is enable the uh, update of exchange rates. Specify your base currency, which can be any of 160 different currencies, and allows users to update uh, the base currency in terms of any other currency. You'll need to specify what time you want the update to occur and whether you want the spot price at the time of the update or whether you want to use the previous London close, which occurs at 5 p.m. GMT. Since uh, London close uh, is going to be relatively different for each company depending on their, uh, their time zone, we need to tell the system what the GMT offset is for the local server time uh, in in uh, in hours. So if you go down to your time and date, and you adjust the time and select your time zone, you can see that uh, the time zone for the Eastern United States is minus five hours for uh, the offset to GMT. So we would have to put in minus five hours if we were in the Eastern US. Since this server that I'm working on happens to be in India, India's GMT offset is plus five and a half hours. So we reset that to 5.5. It automatically recalculates what time it is in GMT and allows our program to calculate whether London close has occurred today already and we would need to grab today's value or whether it has not yet occurred and we need to grab yesterday's GMT close, uh, London close. When we sell the add-on, we, uh, we have a subscription to Strike Iron that is included in the price of the add-on and it includes 5,000 currency update hits per year and it will show you how many hits that have been used uh, since uh, a year to date and also the expiration date of the, the, uh, uh, the enhancement agreement. When an enhancement agreement is renewed, an additional 5,000 hits are provided. And in, if uh, a company has many companies or, or wants to update many currencies frequently, uh, additional hits can be purchased. So down in the, in the, sec the lower section, we can specify which days of the week we want the system to use to update. We can put a check mark in as many days as we want. Or, and this will be weekly, so in this case we will be updating the exchange rates on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Alternatively, if you don't want to update the currency exchange rate quite that frequently, you could opt to have a single check mark and opt to update the currency exchange rate bi-weekly or monthly. If you use either bi-weekly or monthly, you can only have one check mark, and if you try to put a second check mark, uh, it will error. It says more than one day should not be selected when you're selecting frequency, a refresh to, uh, to reset. So if you're going to use a frequency, uh, either bi-weekly or monthly, then you only put a check mark in, in one day. So that's the setup for how frequently your system will update the exchange rates. Now we'll take a look at selecting the currencies to update. Strike Iron 
offers 160 different currencies, which is more than what's in the NAV database right now. If you select a currency and you want to activate that currency to be updated, you put a check mark next to the currency, and in this case, we have updated, we've activated the Euro, the Great Britain Pound, and the Japanese Yen. Japanese Yen, which is right here. So if, for example, we wanted to also update the Mexican Peso, so MXP, that's MXN, MXP, MXN is, uh, MXP is not in this list, so um, we would need to update the currency, uh, ex currency list uh, to, uh, to get that currency. Let's, uh, how about the, the uh, Russian ruble? So if we want the Russian ruble, we place a check mark there, and this brings in and verifies that we have the current, the import currency, as well as the currency set up in NAV. If you don't get this updated, let's take a look at what happens if you choose a currency that doesn't exist. Strike Iron offers the ability to update all currencies. So that if we put a check mark in all currencies, all is not a currency in the NAV list. So all currency does not exist in the NAV currency table. If you select a currency that is uh, that is legitimate, and you need to add, you may need to add it to the uh, add it to the the NAV currency list, and that will will uh, ask you to uh, to specify the the uh, ga currency gains and losses uh, GL accounts. So it's that simple to activate a currency. Place a check mark in Canadian dollars, and now it's activated. The currency will update automatically at the frequency specified. If you'd like to see the latest updates, you can see that we've updated the euro on the, uh, at this date and time. In this case, it was imported here. And this was the uh, the request time, and and it was uh, when it was processed. Uh, processed means that it updated the NAV table. So you can see that we have uh, this has been imported, but it hasn't yet been processed. So it it's imported, and then it subsequently it will process uh, the the update to the NAV currency table. So in this case, we you can see we've updated the euro, the Great Britain pound, and the Japanese yen. Now we can, if we want update this automatically using the setup rules or now let's go to the currency and let's update Canadian dollars and we can go to want to import entries and go to import a single currency or import all currencies. So if we click on this, it'll update all of the exchange rates for all of the active currencies that we have, or we can select a single currency. In this case, let's use CAD. And you can see that it has been imported, and then, then shortly it will, uh, it will be processed. Now, the nice thing about the nice thing about Easy Currency Exchange is it allows users to set different base currencies for different companies. So if your company has offices in various different countries, in this case we're going to open up Canada, Cronus Canada, and again go to Easy Currency Exchange and import. So for the base currency, for Canada, we want CAD. And same thing, specify whether you want to use the London close, the time you want the, the import to occur, and which days of the week you want it to occur on, and select the currencies that you want to update. So since the base currency is Canadian dollars, we might want to update US dollars, or any other currency that you want. So again, if we open up the currency exchange rate, you can see 
what the the uh, last currencies were that were updated and when they occur when the update occurred. So this can be done for any company in terms of any other currency. It can be done automa automatically at a schedule, either daily or weekly, bi-weekly or monthly. Or it can be done on demand. You can update a single currency or you can update all currencies. Choice is yours. Extremely simple to use and extremely reliable. So this is Easy Currency Exchange. If you'd like further information, feel free to contact us at info at dynamicsnavaddons.com. Our website is www. Let's go to business and go to Dynamics Nav Add-ons. And you can click on info at Dynamics Nav Add-ons and the email will come to me and I'll be happy to talk to you. Normally, this is sold through the Nav Partners. It will be available in version Nav version 4.0 SP3, 5.0 SP2, oh, SP1, uh, 2009 SP1 and uh, R2 and also 2013 uh, and 2013 R2. So all, pretty much all versions. Uh, it'll be available for an, a North American database and a W1 database, but uh, it, it, should, uh, it should be pretty much universal for all countries. It, it will be available for all countries in the world, uh, and uh, if necessary, uh, the language layers can be, uh, can be added for any language. Very simple to use. Thank you very much.